Something that I see pop up quite regularly on the Toon Boom forums is people asking, how do I get my Adobe Illustrator files into Toon Boom Harmony with separate layers? And instead of writing the steps or referring people to my previous posts where I explain the steps of how I get my Illustrator files into Harmony, I thought I'd just make a quick video to show you step by step how I do it. There are a few things that I like to do with my Illustrator file to make sure that it is set up to be compatible with Harmony. The first thing is I make sure that my artboard size will match the resolution of the camera view in Harmony. So for this example, I am using um, one of the templates in Illustrator for film and video, and I'm using the 1920 by 1080 template. By doing this, I'm making sure that the file will be set up for film and video. So it's going to have an RGB color space, not a CMYK. And I know that when I import my Illustrator file, it's going to be in the same position in Harmony that it was on my artboard. The other thing I like to do is get rid of the additional artboard that Illustrator automatically creates in a new file. It's painful when you forget that it's there and you try to paste something in place and you can't figure out what you've done and it's actually pasted on the additional artboard, so I delete that. Make sure that all of your layers are separate like this. Don't group them under one master layer because if you do that, it will import as a flattened layer, which is not what we want. The other good habit to get into with your Illustrator file is to name all of your layers the same naming convention that you would use in Harmony because what Harmony will actually do is retain those layer names when it's imported. Now we're ready to save our file in a Harmony compatible format. So we go file, save as, call it whatever you want. Keep the file name nice and simple. I've heard that any sort of fancy characters in there can make it unreadable by Harmony. I always use underscores and keep the file names short and I haven't had a problem yet. So Marty test. And we want to save the version as Illustrator CS2. I have found CS3 and above will import the layers flattened. So CS2 works for me. We need to make sure that create PDF compatible file is checked. That's important. Um, everything else is fine. Okay. All right. We've saved our file. Now it's ready to import into Harmony. Now we're ready to bring the file into Harmony. I'm going to create a new scene, just called Marty Test. Now remember, we need to make sure that the camera size matches our artboard size in Illustrator. So our artboard size was the HDTV profile, 1920 by 1080. So that's what I'm choosing here. The first thing we need to do is make sure our library is unlocked. To do that, we right click on the library and choose Write to Modify. And then we're able to import Illustrator files into that. We can import Illustrator files by either right clicking in the library, Import Files, or we can use the menu, File, Import, Swift Illustrator Files to Library. It's going to ask you if you want to rename the file. I just leave it as the name that it suggests. And then all you have to do is drag that file from the library into your camera view. You're going to be asked if you want to perform color recovery. You want to say yes. And there you go. You can see that we now have all of our layers imported separately as they were in Illustrator and they have kept all of their layer names as well. And now it's all ready to be set up and rigged. There are a few things to take into account when you are importing Illustrator files into Harmony. 
not all effects are going to import the way you expect them to. I've created this file here to show you how some elements will appear in harmony. We've got transparency, a blur effect. These are strokes. One is just made with the line tool. The other is one of my custom brushes that I have made. And then we've got different gradients. This gradient here is made with the new freeform gradient tool in Illustrator, which I only just discovered. And these three shapes have one gradient going through the middle of all three. So I'm going to bring it into Harmony. And show you what happens. So straight away, no transparency. The blur effect works, but it's not as nice as it would be if you use the harmony effect. I wouldn't spend too much time putting effects on artwork in Illustrator for this reason. I would let harmony do all the heavy lifting here. The other thing is gradients have come across really nice. Um, in previous versions of Harmony, I found that I have imported my gradients and they've all lost their position and I've had to spend a lot of time readjusting them. I don't know if it's just the new update of Harmony version 16 that's changed this, but I've noticed that they've all kept their positions, which is really nice. The freeform gradient has not come across at all. This stroke you will see has kept its center line. However, this custom brush that I've made has converted to a shave. It's work, it works kind of like the brush tool works in Harmony, not the pencil. So there's no center line in that there. So that's something to keep in mind. All of your strokes, if you use custom brushes, are going to be outlined. I've never had a problem importing Illustrator files. So if you see somebody on the forum asking how they can get their file in, please share a link to this video so that they can see how easy it is. If you are working with older versions of Harmony, um, I think it's about version 12 and below. There is a script available that will import your Illustrator files. So search for that in the forum. But this method is fairly painless as long as you make sure that you save your file as a CS2 file and you create PDF compatible file, you should have no problems.